Good day guys, welcome back to my let's play or walkthrough of God of War Ragnarok. And we just had a massive fight with Atreus. He was transformed into a bear. So that's interesting. This so, are we going to discuss the boy becoming a bear? Yeah, are we? Not now. We need to repair the protection stave and get home. What happened to the protection stave? You did. So you're blaming me? I am not blaming you, Atreus. Well, tell your voice that. He's in that awkward stage. And he's in that awkward teenage phase now. Say the word, father. Nice, we can inflict stun damage pretty easily with Atreus now. And he's no longer shy about about fighting humans. Whoop. Just touch these rangers. Nisa! So lad, besides your gift of language and hearing creatures' thoughts, are there any other new magical abilities to report? Not really. What of Fenrir? What about him? When he died, you cast a spell. No, I didn't. But I saw light. I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. Trick of Fimble Winter, perhaps. Seen my share. Or maybe he's just done the Sang Shung thing. Your soul is mine. <laughs> maybe that's what it is. Your soul is mine. Okay, chest down here. Yeah, I'm not sure whether this is a let's play or a walkthrough. Maybe it's both. I'll let you guys decide. But I'm going to be as thorough as I can. I'm going to try not to miss anything. I usually miss something, but I'll try my best not to. Oh, I recognize where we are now. Yeah, you recognize where you are, Atreus, but wait till you see what you've done, mate. What's with all the blood? Yours, Atreus. Seriously? Atreus. That or any prey you might have been dragging, I suppose. Not sure that makes me feel any better. I wonder what you would be feeling after you've just learned that you could transform into massive animals. Strong enough to take on a god of war. Yeah, best close your eyes, Atreus. You're not wanna you're not gonna wanna see this. this one. does not matter. Only consequences. What? What can we do? Nothing. Nature will take its course. bad for them little bears. Hopefully they'll stick together and make it. Doubtful, but we can hope. Jesus. Oh, storms are coming. Isn't it cold enough? We are almost home. <sighs> What's the matter? Are you scared of a little bit of thunder? I'm not fond of what follows after it. Okay, some more raiders. You know we'll drill with these guys. Use a trace to get the stun up. And then just finish them off with the R3. Pretty straightforward. Oh! Oh, she blocked it! She deflected my uh, axe! Okay, let's take care of this guy. 
Oh, I was hoping I could stick him to the tree. Oh! Finish him. Oh, she's gonna cause me problems with her. Get her, Atreus. There you go. Oh, I missed. Wow. What are those guys? It's been like this all night. I must have been inside the stave when I fixed it. <laughs> Sometimes I really wish Tyr's temple still worked so we could get out of Midgard. They say Fimblewinter affects all realms, lad. Okay, but how could things be any worse than here? Just gonna have a quick look around. Um, because I haven't got any notes right now. So I'm kinda doing this on the fly. Hey, Spana, you're not scared. You're a brave girl. Good. Brave girl. That's right. He's good with them. No surprise, really. Specky. You okay? Just a little thunder. That's a good girl. Good girl. I'm getting nervous. I'm getting nervous. Atreus! I'm just checking on... To bed! Yes, sir. That's right, if we hide under the bed, nothing nothing will happen. Let's have a quick check around, so... I don't think any items have spawned in. Check the pool, that's chasm. No, can't go over there yet. Just checking the training grounds. Oh, two for one. Nice. Yeah, I think I'm going to try and turn this into somewhat of a walkthrough. A little bit of a guide. You know. Let's go. As evenings go, that was entirely too eventful. No, I admit it was a bit like old times there. For a moment. The three of us navigating some hitherto unhappened upon patch of forest. Been a while since you've joined us. If that's what you mean. Ah, well, just tired, I suppose. You've seen one deer hunt, you've seen them all. How can you feel tired when you never sleep? There are other kinds of tired, lad. You'll see when you're older. <sighs> now have a proper rest, my brothers. Things are always brighter in the morning. I come in. I have need. You would not find me good company. No. I'm sure we'll find lots to talk about.
this place. Could have told me before I poured. Why are you here? Uh, just uh, being polite. You seem like a calm and reasonable person. I'd say the moment calls for calm. <laughs> yeah. You know who I am? Back before winter set in, there were some misunderstandings. Regrettable ones. But I think we all have a better idea of who we're dealing with. Now, what you did to his boys. Self-defense. Dying is what we Aesir live for. And let's be honest, they were kind of useless. But Balder, he had value. He was my best tracker, my closer. Yeah, his mind was gone, sure. But he had his uses, and now he's gone because of you. You follow me? You have a debt. And you're no fun anymore. What do you want? How about peace? How does peace strike the esteemed, retired god of war? How about we just don't kill each other? How about you stay home, kick up your feet, seek no quarrel with me, and I'll have none with you? Of course, it means that that one, that one has to stop his search for tear. Yeah. We know what you've been up to. Stop it. Tears old ways are dead. He is dead. You understand? And then that's it. Then we're square. Shit, I'll even sweeten the deal. I'll let you keep the prisoner that I know you stole. <laughs> that's right. I know you're in here somewhere, you silver-tongued little shit. Why should we believe a word of you? What have your promises ever been worth? There he is, my old partner in crime. He's lost weight. If he tells you snow is white, he's lying. What kind of wisdom is that? 
Can't the smartest head alive see past himself? See that we all want the same thing? All right. Here's a deal I know you can trust. I'll settle your debt with my ex. Keep Freya off your back. Keep your boy safe. It's really all you want, isn't it? So what do you say? Don't take all day. To fight for this is a multi phase fight. How were you ever a god of war? You really need to get out of the way of that big grab. You can normal block or deflect those and really try. That fight with your brother. I don't care. You insult me holding back like that. The ghost of Sparta thing? Yeah. Then you know what I'm capable of. Show me! Ooh, we almost had him. Now yeah. we've got us a fight. Stay out of the way of his range ground smack there. And his big grab. He's going to do lots of damage to you if he grabs you. I was hoping to see your blade. Guess they don't come when you move. If you miss your deflect, that's what he's going to do. He's going to like front kick you flying. There's not enough time to avoid it. I would really save a Spartan Rage for when you, whoa, for when you need some healing. But other than that, it's a quite simple fight. Try and get heavies on him whenever you can. Sorry about your statue, tear, you preachy old stiff. If you're not fighting dirty, you're not fighting right. I usually use my Spartan Rage about now, unless I'm full health, uh, to reflect a lot of damage on him. And then I also try and use the statues. So now this is a new move he's got, where he uh, throws his hammer. If you use the environment, you can inflict a lot of stun damage on him and get his health down really quickly. Dumbass! You think you can come here? 
Become a daddy. Get a clean slate. That ain't how it works. You're a destroyer, like me. And if you fail in that bottle bash, you'll lose the fight. Unfortunately, if you're going for a no-death oh, run. Oh no. I say when we're done. <laughs> I'm not leaving till I see the real you. Get up! When I first went through that, I was like, Whoa, how did I die? Your son struck first! Good! Nice, we got bonus damage there because we got a stun meter up. Whoa. Find his ground slam. Use a statue. Last phase of this fight. I give a hot shit about your fatherly fight. I want to see the god of you war. Of this. I will end it. In the, in the last phase of this fight, he'll try and uh, attack you with thunderbolts from the sky. You can use your ranged attack on him and get some of your labors done. No way, my boy. Fell to this. Show me who you are. Oh. oh. Don't get to pro don't forget to frost up your axe. Put that little bit more extra damage. The man who faced down Seagrim, the Valkyrie Queen. Consider your blood debt paid. Be seeing you. What a crazy fight that is. Oh, look how hurt he is. Told you he'd make it. Kratos, it's Sindri and Brock. That was quite a fight. Can we? Oh, now. Odin is with Atreus. Oh, no. I'll go get a gateway ready. Come on, then. Ain't a long walk.
There are many differences between Thor and his brother Boulder. Boulder fought wildly, his motivation to inflict pain. Thor is calmer, his bloodlust for the fight itself, not for the suffering it inflicts. The full force of his attacks is as heavy as, heavy as I have ever felt. The hammer, Mjolnir, only compounds his, his power. Each blow echoes with death and destruction they have wrought together. He chose to end our fight prematurely. It is for good, for both of us, that it did not come to its conclusion. We must check on Atreus. Well, good to see you making new friends. Ain't that me all near pack a punch? You know we made that happen, right? You have mentioned it. I know that. Wasn't ever sure you were listening. At least it was good to see the axe hold on. Kind of the point, after all. Oh, they missed the pun there, didn't they? They could have said it was kind of the point. Axe, surely. <laughs> Maybe I should have that bit out. So yeah, you get a little bit of lore on Thor there in the codex if you want to read that. Okay, let's double check. I'm not missing anything. Look at that frozen lightning. Oh, I remember this place. This will get you home. Bye, Frost Room. No use trying to bifrost your way around the realms. Odin's got him locked down tight. Or ain't you notice? Oh, we're, we're concussed. We don't remember. <laughs> hey, one last thing there, Tiny. If you got Aesir at your door, then I reckon your protection staves busted. Once you chase Odin off, you got another place to lay your head tonight? And I don't mean that talking, fella. We will not abandon my home. Oh, yeah? And what's to stop the all fucker from spying on you? Or Raven pecking your house to splinters while you're asleep in it? Nothing, that's what. You go get your boy, and I'll speak to a certain someone about putting you up at his place in a pinch. Go check and see if a trace is okay. Brother! I was about to look for you. Are you hurt? Are you? Pay for the roof, and he invited me to Asgard. Did he? I couldn't hear once he went outside. I, I told him no. Obviously. Good. Why were you searching for Tia? If I told you I was looking for him, you would have said not to. So you hid the truth from me. I wanted to tell you. I really did, but now that you know, there's something you should see. No. Just trust me, you'll want to. Trust! You have broken my trust. Then let me regain it. Let me show you what I found. Besides, we haven't seen the last of Odin. Or Thor. And clearly they can just walk in and blast holes in our home whenever they want. There's only one way to get them off our backs. And I think I know how. Sir. Show me. 
Gather your things. So it's going to give you a gearing and equipment uh, tutorial right now. I'm just going to cut that out. It's pretty straightforward, so it doesn't need me to double explain it. Are you ready? Go. Change your bastard. Where are we going? The old temple in the Wildwoods. Why? It'll be easier to explain once we're there. The door didn't say anything else while you were outside. Yeah. He said he doesn't care about Jotunheim anymore. That the giants can keep their secrets. He's averted Ragnarok his own way. You think he knows all the giants are dead? I'm more concerned that it no longer matters to him. What's he up to? Yeah, I think he takes that old man form just to throw everybody off me. I don't think that's what he actually looks like. Because when I saw Odin, I was like, what? He's this tiny little man. And I was like, oh, maybe that's what his plan. So close to home. Okay, there's a I'm chest on the left. With one another now. Those are not their arrows. Something else is out here. Like silver on the bodies. It's a valley that we jumped down in a minute as well. More over here. And fresh. Did they all get in while the stay was down? That or Odin cocked up the protection spell altogether. <laughs> Burn the brambles with the chains of chaos. Almost to the bridge. And we should have a quick look at our skills as well, see what we can level up. So let's go over to the skills tab. I think in the end I'm gonna pick the one that does the status effect, especially on the chains of chaos. Just have a quick look and quick read of them. Yeah, I'll go for the added status damage, I think. I'll do it on both. On the axe and the uh Blades of Chaos. Did I just call them Chains of Chaos? We've also got a nifty little trick with the Blades of Chaos where we can literally keep bouncing oh, the enemies. Guess the bridge gave out. On the and floor. I need another path to the temple. Why oh, would you come out this way alone, lad? I had dreams calling me here. <sighs> dreams. Yeah, we can literally bounce the enemies off the floor Whoa. and just keep doing it. That one's still alive. Sure now. No. Look closer. Ah, Hell Raiders now? Who's doing this? Oh, too much to get a warning. The enemy up there will be offended. Oh, it died Seriously, too quick. Who'd be stringing up Raiders like that? And I think there's some hack silver on the left in the valley down here, where the wolves were on the first one. You see one. something down there? Oh yeah, being all the way on guard. <laughs> Whatever it is, it works fast. And it impelled him to a tree. <laughs> Burn the brambles for the chest. <laughs> see if we can see whatever it was down here.
there's some hacks over on that body just around the corner. There's the temple now. Just need to find a way around. Just here on the left, so don't forget that. Okay, let's see if I can show you that bouncing move. Get it. Oh, some foot down. Oh no, he died. They're all dying too quick. When did this bridge collapse? Oh, a while ago. Wasn't me. Remember when I said there was someone who might help us get answers about the giants and Loki? You mean Tyr? The old god of war in these lands, who is dead. Well, for a dead man, Odin seemed pretty keen on seeing he wasn't found, right? He knows Tyr could unite the realms against him. Plus, Tyr was the giant's greatest ally. So... Enough. I'm not missing anything. I'm sure there's something. Yeah, there it is. I love the kill animations. I really do. I think they're so cool. Wall, uh, pillar. That pillar wasn't in the way last time I came. Like I was saying, Tyr was an ally to the giants. So he'd be on our side if we find him. And if anyone might know who I'm supposed to be, it's him. If he's out there, we've got to find him. How can we not? Those are many ifs, Atreus. What do you know? You'll see soon. Free the rock with the axe. Pretty self explanatory, really. Nice one. There we can end the fun bit. We get to slide down it. What do you think? I can't imagine what the lad's found, but he says he has evidence. We've come this far. Let's see it. Many dead here. We should keep them back. A couple of raiders here. Um, it's going to ask us to use our flame whiplash to break the ice Too late. shield on them. Father, use your blade. Burn them. Oh. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
Burn the brambles and then have a quick quick look around, see if we're forgetting anything. Bit of health. Break this. See if we drop something. No. Okay, I, th I think that's everything. I don't think we can jump down anywhere here yet. Isn't it nice how Fimblewinter wore down all the helpful magic we acquired? Yet somehow new terrors only flourish. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. As if on cue. Right. Let's see if I can show you that trick back. Okay, the okay, let's do it on him, maybe. Kill. Winterman. Yup. You got it. Wonder who they mean. Chest down here. Right, here we go. This one's pretty tough. Break the shield. She's got purple health bar. But here's how you deal with it. Finger up in the air, slam it down, slam it down. There we go, a Hyperion pull. Just keep doing that on tough enemies that, that you can knock into the air. Okay, you got a boss fight coming up in a minute. We climb. On it. Ah, he has gotten rather good at that. Yet another scene. Make, sure you, make sure you save your Spartan Rage because there is a boss fight, boss fight coming up in a minute. <laughs> Kill these raiders. Yeah, it's a good idea on these shielded enemies to keep doing this because then you can just get your labors and your challenges done and get that extra XP. You know, get the uh, bronze or silver and gold and just get loads of XP for it. Okay. Hopefully you've saved your Spartan Rage. Hopefully you've got quite a lot of HP because as soon as we start climbing we're into a boss fight. It's not too I've difficult. I've seen my share of bloodshed, but this is an awful lot for one more. Oh, no. Brother! Uh, Father! Look at me in your head. Sick in the head. A stalker! On your guard, brother. I think we found our predator. So she's got glowing horns your that you really want to try brother. and target. Just keep your feet moving, yeah? If you target her glowing horns, she'll uh, get knocked down, and that's when you can inflict the damage. Other than that, keep your distance, watch for her arrows, like I didn't. <laughs> yeah, but they do explode on the floor. And then just get a flurry in when you can. Use Atreus as well to draw fire. And then you see your horse, a horse will blow. And they just rinse and repeat. Get to about half health and then you just start and rage over. Or if you need to heal. Keep 
spamming a Tracer's arrows while you're in Spartan Rage as well to try and build up this stun meter. Keep away out of this because we can't block it yet. So the horns are a glow again. Try get close or even throw our axe. This should be it. That just wasn't here, is it? Thimble Winter Freya, the Raiders Dawn Odin barging in, and now Stalker's praying in our woods. This is no safe haven anymore. Now it's got to give you a tutorial about runic attacks. Father, the shield Mom gave you. Thor damaged it, but now... Perhaps the dwarves could take a look at it. Perhaps. Later. We get up here to the left. Come on, we can get in this way. There's a collectible down here. And a chest. Why are we here, Atreus? Okay. You remember all those shrines we found telling the stories of giants? Uh, the panel on the left would be their origin, and the panel on the right would be their fate? Yes. We found many. I have seen them. Well, there's more to them than we realize. So there's a grid here up on the right. You want to keep going up just past it. You'll see a little hidden entryway up here. Leading to a big shiny. How do you always know how to find those? It is instinct, boy. We are the god of war, we know everything. Well, the collapsed pillar is new, but the shrine is just on the other side. Okay, let's get our axe back. Break the ice. And then break the tree. That should help. There we go. Come on. Okay. It's a chest on the left and the right. We'll go and get those in a moment. Just after we finish doing whatever we're doing here with Atreus. Watching. Well, that's new. Come on, Atreus. Wait. Yeah, I don't think he's waiting. What is this, lad? Where are we? Somewhere only giants were meant to see. These shrines tell their stories to the world. But it turns out the real stories, the secret stories, those they kept here, inside. You remember the story of Skull and Hati? The wolf giants? Odin captured them because he thinks it'll help him control when Ragnarok starts. I remember. But that's not the whole story. See, this shows the giants setting Skull and Hati free. They're free? Is this the past or the future? Depends when you're looking at it. Spoken like a giant. See? The wolves are safe. Somewhere in Vanaheim. Not the first place Odin would look, I suppose. There they are, 
chasing the sun and moon. Old habits. Until, look, the moon gets stolen. Somehow. Atreus. See? Hati's got nothing to chase. And they say celestial theft is a victimless crime. Not totally sure who this is, but someone comes along and rescues the moon. And then, the moon blocks out the sun. A total eclipse? I haven't seen one of those in a hundred winters. But then they chase an arrow, and things go back to normal. What does any of this have to do with... We're coming to that. Look, here's Ragnarok. Do you see who's leading the armies against Odin? That's Tyr. If he's gonna be around at Ragnarok, that means he's gotta be alive. Right? Mimir, can this be? Odin told me he killed Tyr, and he trusted me at the time, or so I thought. What if he didn't kill him? What if he's just had him locked up somewhere all this time? We are back to ifs. Enough. Wait. We are going home. Wait! I have one more thing to show you. It's just out here. What is this? Everything I found. Well, almost everything. That's giant craftsmanship. You've been to Jotunheim again? No, I found it in one of the other shrines. Other shrines? How many have you visited? I... well... all of them? All the ones I could still get to in Midgard anyway. I don't know what it is. But it's important. Just like all this. When I was inside one of the shrines, I saw an image of Tyr imprisoned, but I couldn't tell where. There are hints inside the other shrines. They mention black smoke and the bleeding earth. But we can never figure out exactly. We. Oui. Yeah, Sindri's been helping me. Look, I talked him into it. It it wasn't his idea. I just needed someone to watch my back. Smoke. Bleeding earth. Could the prison be in Muspelheim? Unlikely. Odin's got no presence to speak of in the primordial realms. But the bleeding earth? Sounds like a mine, aye. Uh, the realm of the dwarves, perhaps. Svartalfheim, that's a good bet. Their minds did belch black smoke, and Odin's had his thumb on the dwarves for a very long time. That's it, then. Here since Vardal finds somewhere, imprisoned in a mine. So, what now? Home. This way. Lad, even if we consider looking for Tia. How do you have us getting to Svartalfheim? You know Odin's had all travel between realms locked up tight. Sindri said he had an idea or two about that. Sindri is full of ideas. So there's a chest down huh. there on the right, so you jump down. Kinda cracked there. And then we need to break this floor tile to get the other chest, which is just over there. There's a shortcut this way. What's under there? You ah, back to smashing through things for fun and profit. Lovely. Mimir, what did you hear of Odin's offer? To the lad? Not much. They stepped outside. But he told us about it. I wouldn't worry. What about the things he did not tell us? I was really on fire. It's got a way of uh, convincing people, right? There's a reason everyone's scared of him.
Remember when we fought our first troll out this way? I remember you lost control. <sighs> we must tread carefully, brother. Danger is close. You okay fighting without a shield? It is not my first time. We will be fine, boy. <laughs> 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 Nista! We've got a big boy to deal with here. He's not too hard. Just get his stun meter up and just watch out for those big stuns. Because you can't yet block him. That's probably the only move you want to look out for. Other than that, just get a trace to pepper them with arrows, get that stun meter up, just like his yellow attacks, and there we go. Why poor Ian slam as well. We should be able to get our silver tear complete. There we go. Easy peasy. Am I missing anything? I feel like I'm missing something. Phew. Almost home. Brother, a word. Don't hold the lad's curiosity against him. It goes with being young. In my youth, we learned obedience. And is that what you wish for him? Brother, he's going to walk his own path. If you don't want him walking away from you, then smarten up and walk with him a while. Hmm. Good advice, maybe. If we could find a way to open Rome travel to Spartalfarm, that there'd be all sorts of useful equipment for us to... Enough. We will go. Really? But if we do not find Tyr, you will abandon your search for good. All right. You won't be sorry. Let's hope not. That prophecy said that we uh we were gonna die, so let's hope not. Atreus, it's been so long. <gasps> How you've grown. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. <clears throat> well, if you'll follow me, Brock mentioned he needed somewhere safe to spend the night, and I believe your favorite dwarves can help you out with that. We're still your favorite dwarves, right? You're still the only dwarves we know. I'll take it. After you, my friends. Where are we going? The cleanest cabin in all the Nine Realms. And I'd prefer it to stay that way. Not looking at anyone in particular. Kratos. <sighs> After that Thor incident, we thought we should make up some rooms. Till you can figure out your next moves. Nearly there. So yeah, that's Surviving Fimble Winter. Chapter 1 done. So I'm going to turn it into more of a walkthrough than a let's play and do chapters within chapters. As you can see, we've settled here in the realm between realms. It's nothing much, but it's safe from Fimble Winter. Nice. Safe from Odin's eyes. It's and a mint house. Really can't beat the view if you're into shimmering gray voids. That's amazing, Sin. We have a right, guys. to talk to you about, actually. Intriguing. Right, guys, that's pretty much it from me. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, walkthrough. Like I said, I'm going to turn it more into a walkthrough. But I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one real soon.